sing with the most popular little girl. Not me finna waste all the stuff. Spring nails transformation from this ugh, and that to that and this. So let's get into it. I said I ain't messing with her unless she real, real fine. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't messing with her unless she real, real fine. I hey y'all, it's all of Destiny. And listen, my gel pedicure has grown out. <laughs> So here's a quick look at my salon gel pedicure from three weeks ago. Let's start by soaking this off. Regardless of whether you're soaking off gel or acrylic, if they're on your hands or your feet, you're going to need 100% acetone because nail polish remover will not work. Some form of cotton balls, cotton pads, cotton rounds, whatever you would prefer. Scissors to cut the cotton pads in half, nail foul. Whether you're soaking off acrylic or gel, you will be able to kind of foul that away. And I'm going to actually use my soak off clips. These are the ones with the fingers actually. All the browns I do on Amazon. I didn't order the actual clips, um, but I'm gonna finesse it. Y'all know how I do. So if you don't have those clips, then you can use aluminum foil. I don't like to just sit around and wait. I like to do other things. So you can either put on like some flip-flops, some house shoes, cause you want the cotton ball to be wet. That way you won't like walk around any acetone and press it on the floor. I don't know if Dollar Tree currently has these y'all cause this is like a super old purchase that I just pulled out of the drawer. But these are the pedicure flip flops. And if you have like regular nail polish then you could just use a nail polish remover and some cotton balls and wipe that right away. But when you get gel pedicures, you kind of have to soak the gel off. Um, when I go to the salon to get it done, they use the drill. I prefer to kind of soak it off when I'm at home. So that's what I'm gonna do. But basically you wanna really soak the cotton pad into the acetone. Don't be stingy with it because it's gonna make the process take longer. And then, like I said, I wanna kind of move around. So I got the pedicure flip flops from Dollar Tree a good while ago. Pressed that into the nail. So I was on Instagram live chatting with some of you all while doing this process. And a tip that you all gave me because I was complaining about how long it was taking, you want to foul off the top coat before you wrap your nails. That'll help the soaking process to go a little bit faster. And then after about 10 to 15 minutes, the gel will become softened and you can just foul it right off. So to set a cute little vibe, while I work, I'm going to pull up Spa Radio on Pandora. Step one of the four in one pedicure kit that I ordered from Amazon is the bubble salt. So I'm gonna add that to the water first. Y'all, the bubbles be going crazy. I love the bubble salt that came in this kit, but I definitely suggest adding half a pack to your pedicure tub instead. So I ordered a new pedicure kit as well. It has the manicure tools in it. It's got the skincare stuff. Y'all know I got y'all. Everything I'm using will be linked down below. And I'm going to take the cuticle end and push back my cuticles and then the opposite end I'll use to clean underneath my nails. And I'm going to repeat this process on both feet. If you want softer feet all spring and summer 22, you need to turn the volume up right now. So I have a new pumice stone that I found on Amazon, but the thing about this one is a two in one pumice stone. So one side is a little bit rougher for like calloused skin and just really like getting in there. And then you have the other side, which is a little bit lighter for your daily maintenance. This is a six pack. You get a six pack for $7.99 and it arrives in one day once you add it to your cart on Amazon. Um, you can't beat that. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna keep one in my shower to kind of touch up in my nighttime routine. And I'm basically massaging this all over the bottom of my feet, like not missing anywhere. And my feet so on point, like so soft. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the dead skin pusher, literally looking at the name of it from my phone, and I'm going to use this to push the dead skin off from around the nail. I'm doing this on the side of the big toe and then along the pinky. So step two of the NBC Beauty Lab kit is the sugar scrub. I'm gonna take a generous amount of this and massage it all over the feet. I like to extend it up to the leg area, everything below the knee. This helps to remove any additional dead skin and it's also a great exfoliator. Don't get me wrong, I love sitting back relaxing, enjoying myself in the massage chair while someone else gives me a pedicure professionally. <laughs> but at the same time, pedicures can get pretty pricey. The last time I got one, I think I paid about $100 this kit on Amazon is only seven bucks. And not only that, once you invest in yourself, you're able to use them over and over and over, basically. And it helps you to practice, and the more you do it, you get better with it. Um, so I went ahead and used the pumice stone on my feet 
while the scrub was on just to get them a little bit more soft. I read in the comments where someone suggested that I should use like a lotion with SPF in it whenever I'm using my UV lamp. So I'm going to apply that to my feet while we continue the process. And for those of you who leave comments saying that you want to do your own pedicures but you can't really reach your feet, I did order the Salon Beauty Footrest on Amazon as well. It comes with like a LED light, a fan, and a magnifier. My light wasn't working, but I still like this. I do think it's worth the purchase. If you want to kind of bring your feet up to an elevated height for you to complete your own pedicure at home. Now I'm going to show you all how I do an acrylic extension whenever I break my nail. So I'm using the Mia Secret Acrylic Products. You can get these at Amazon as well. Okay, now back to work. So basically you want to take a small amount of the acrylic and I like to apply that closer towards the tip of the nail. You don't have to use like a form or anything for this. As long as you kind of remove that excess liquid from your brush, you won't really mess this up. And then I only need about maybe two acrylic balls and I apply that second one to the back portion of the nail and I blend the two together. Take a small amount of the acrylic because you don't want this to be too thick. You don't want your acrylic to be too runny. So definitely wipe off the excess from your brush. And that's basically how I do my acrylic extension whenever I kind of mess up the side of my nail. I hate when I break a toenail because they take so long to grow back, but in the meantime, that'll hold me over. So I'm gonna take some acetone and just wipe off the fouling dust from shaping my nails, and then I'm gonna take the Nail Attic Base Gel, which is a gel polish, and just apply that to each one of the nails. I'll secure that underneath my UV lamp for two minutes. While I wait, I'm going to work on fouling and shaping the acrylic extension that I did to the other side. I start off by using the hand foul, and then I'm gonna follow up with my drill. A company sent me this drill a few years back, but they don't have their name like branded onto the product. Um, so I don't have a link or anything because I really don't remember y'all. But I'll link something similar from Amazon, but just know that what I'm linking is like a suggestion, but I don't personally own it. Take my buffer to smooth out the acrylic. This is my first time trying the Beatles products. Um, I got these from Amazon because I wanted to do like some cute, fun, bright colors to my nails. I'm going to continue working as y'all can see. And I'm gonna start off with the hot pink color first. So I got these small stripe kind of nail art ones. That way it won't be too large of a brush for me to do little French designs like these. And also if I wanna do like some lines and swirls onto my nails, go ahead and kind of do as neatly as possible a French tip, but it's gonna be hot pink. get that on there as neat as you can the great thing about gel is it doesn't cure until you put it underneath the UV lamp I'm gonna take alcohol and a small nail art brush and just kind of perfect the line so I do this to the best of my ability trying to line everything up remove any um, of the gel that may get on the skin before you cure it underneath the lamp So I'll post the inspo picture on the screen for you all to see. I wanted to do like the double French design that I had saw on Instagram, but I was gonna do mine with hot pink. But I feel like it looks better with the white or maybe I just, I don't know, I was kind of being picky. I wasn't so sure about it, so I went live on Instagram after trying this other design. I wanted to see what you all thought about it before I cured it. And y'all agreed that this was the design that I should go with. So yeah, shout out to the Instagram Live fam. So I'm currently on Instagram Live and they're helping me to pick out the color for the day versus when she said not me smiling. So yeah, let's get some names on this. What it do vlog family? Hey, show me y'all living destiny. Pink Tigger 83. Now I got proof that this thing be going fast because y'all be thinking I don't be reading y'all questions. She said say cheese. We'll break these people <laughs> off, angel style. My daughter's name is Destiny. Shout out to your daughter. So instead of the double French, we decided to go with something a little bit similar, but I'm going to do a blue line instead, and I'm not going to put any space. It's going to be like right next to the pink, and you want to make sure that this line is much thinner than the high pink French design that we've done. <laughs> After 
securing the blue exit line underneath the UV lamp for two minutes, I'm going to apply my top coat. Today, I'm using the Neil Addict No Wipe Top Coat, which is basically a gel polish. I cured that underneath the lamp for two minutes, and then I'm going to file the nails to perfect the shape a little bit if any of the gel kind of ran over to the side. And for now, because we're going to come back to some more pedicure steps later in the video, we're kind of done. Also, if you all want to get the uh, Beauty Foot Rest, I definitely recommend it. It was a little bit difficult for me to use since I was filming. The camera was kind of in the way. But like regular day-to-day -day use, if you just need to reach your feet better, you want somewhere to sit your tools while you work, I definitely recommend it. Our feet are on point, they're soft, they're cute, they're colorful, they're moisturized, they look good. Now it's time to do our acrylic nails, spring inspired design color. Let's get into it. So to further prep my nails for the acrylic application, and my hands were already washed prior to beginning, I like to trim down some of the nails. This isn't absolutely necessary, but I like for my nails to grow out even, so I try to make the length the same. I'm going to take a file and kind of perfect the shape of my nails and clean underneath them as well. And then I'm going to take my drill. I'm going to swap out the bit. The kit that I have, like all of the bits that you see, they're by McCart, so I'll link that down below. Another Amazon purchase. <laughs> I'm going to use a smaller bit to clean up near the cuticle area. This will help to remove any dead skin. If you have dead skin on your nails, especially near that cuticle area when you apply when you apply your acrylic, the acrylic is sitting on top of the dead skin, so as it grows out, it's going to lift up, basically. And then I'm going to take an even smaller bit and kind of use that to further perfect me cleaning up the cuticle area. The sanding bit that you saw me use is to remove the natural shine from the nail because if your nail is too smooth, that's also another reason why the acrylic won't last because it's not really sticking to the nail. I take the nail brush and use that to remove the nail dust from fouling. So I'm using the Mia Secret Cover Nude Blush Acrylic Powder today along with the same Mia Secret Monomer or acrylic liquid that you saw me use for the pedicure portion. Sing with me, Pablo. Girl, not me finna waste all the stuff. Once everything is set up, I'm taking the Mia Secret Nail Prep. This is a dehydrator. You want to apply this to the natural nail. I like to use forms, so if you're using like nail tips or artificial tips, you won't have to apply a dehydrator to it because it's fake. And I'm using the Mia Secret Primer as well. For extra strength to my form, I want to apply the little round portion to the back and kind of like shape that into a curved motion to help it to fit underneath the nail and I basically secure it. So there's little numbers on the side. I think I went to number four on my form. I like to take my brush. I'm using the Panna Kalinske brush size number eight. Dip that into the liquid and then you want to dip into the acrylic that you're going to be using for the day. There's a new method, not a new method, but someone suggested something in the comments as far as the way I should pick up the acrylic. I gave it a try a few times. <laughs> it wasn't really working out for me, so yeah, we'll see. See, I was dropping it when I was trying to do that where you like kind of tap, 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 like slide it for a more rounded ball. I guess once I kind of become familiar and comfortable with the way I do things, it's hard to like readjust it. But for now, I'm just gonna stick with what I know. <laughs> Since a majority of the design is going to come from the gel polishes, we just gotta build the nails first. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, I'm going to kind of do the coffin shape. They're a little bit more square, tapered. I don't know, I don't bother with trying to like classify the shape of my nails, I just do them, okay? <laughs> I'm not licensed. So yeah, take smaller amounts of the acrylic um, to avoid making mistakes and to kind of perfect your shape. That way you won't have to do too much fouling. start on the edge of the nail to kind of build the length that I want and then I work my way back towards the cuticle area to make sure that my brush is nice and clean I dip it into the liquid very often and then I wipe off the excess liquid on the side of the container and as far as making the brush clean I wipe that off onto the paper towel So once I build all of the nails, it's time for the fouling and the buffing step. I like to start off using my hand foul. This one is from Amazon. You can get like a whole pack. I told y'all I get everything from Amazon. Uh, this one is 100, 180 grip. So it's perfect for fouling the nails. 
And I'm also going to follow up with using my uh, e-file, which is basically the drill. This helps me to really get the nails like on point. It takes a while to learn to use a drill. Take your time so that you don't like cut yourself. And if you want to see like where the nail needs to be filed at a little bit more, if you have any lumps or ridges, you can just rub the surface of the nail and then kind of perfect the shape. Alright, so I went ahead and finished the buffing. Quick little magic trick to get that done. I went ahead and applied the gel to the right hand already. I'm using the Nail Addict Base Gel. So I'm going to apply this to all of the nails first. And then I'm going to cure it underneath the UV lamp for two minutes. So now it's time for the fun part. Designing the nails. I'm going to take Madame Glam Perfect White. And I'm going to kind of do basically like a french tip but i'm freestyling it so i'm trying to really just apply it first let's just apply it first and then we're going to clean it up using a small brush and some alcohol you can use alcohol because the gel isn't cured yet i'm going to take this yellow one by madame glam as well this one is in bright honey and repeat that same process same steps but different colors of the gel another thing that you can try i found these in my little nail drawer um i'm going to see which brand this is about or if I can find something similar to link for you all if you can't really freestyle it or you don't want to try to do like cleaning up uh, your mistakes you can use this little guide and then you peel the guide off before you cure it underneath your UV lamp if you use a nail polish for this then the same thing kind of applies but instead of using the alcohol to clean up your mistakes you will have to use like a nail polish remover look at that yes yes period cure these underneath the uv lamp for two minutes clean up any mistakes before you cure the nails because you won't be able to get that off otherwise after you've cured it and you remove the tacky layer the tacky layer is just kind of like sticky if you were to touch the gel you just wipe that off Then I'm going to go in with a second coat and make sure you're getting the edge of the nail as well so that your nails don't peel off. I'm going to show y'all my inspiration picture too. I forgot to show y'all. I found a picture on Instagram. I did mine a little bit longer. Um, but basically, you're just kind of doing like some lines all over the nails. I didn't really think too hard about it. I just kind of gathered up all of the colors that I needed and then I'm just going to wing it. When I feel what I feel, sometimes it's hard to so after applying two coats of the OPI gel polish, which is the top coat, I went ahead and wiped that off with the alcohol on the cotton pad. And I'm going to apply some cuticle oil and we'll be done. But I want to double back to the pedicure since I didn't finish step three and four. Step three is the massage mask. I'm going to apply this all over the leg. And then you want to wrap that with a warm towel. I'm going to see if I can find towels on Amazon. I'll link it down below. So I'm just improvising with one that I have at home. And you want to let that sit for 10 minutes. Wipe that off with the same towel while it's still damp. And then you apply the lotion and you'll be done. stop at the lotion step which is step four if you would like but I'm a little extra so I'm gonna take my Jay's Paws Goddess Glow I got mine's in Bronze Bay you can order this on Amazon this is from one of my Instagram friends Jay Fresh hey if you watching sis um, but yeah you can get this on Amazon and it just basically gives the legs this nice shimmer a nice glow this is not sponsored I ordered this with my own money but it's gonna have my feet on point all summer. I just want y'all to know when y'all see that glow, y'all know what it is, okay? <laughs> Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. If you all are gonna try out the pink and blue pedicure combo, definitely let me know. I hope you all enjoyed the nails as well. I hope y'all like them. I love them. All of the rings are either from the beauty supply store, Target. I think that's it, yeah. And then just apply some cuticle oil to your hands and your feet and you are done i'm gonna do more combined many petty videos so give this video a thumbs up that'll confirm whether you all really want that or not and i will talk to you all in my next upload my nails look good quit playing with me because i ain't even licensed or whatever whatever the girls be saying okay bye y'all because <laughs> the ratchet destiny about to pop out in a minute i'll talk to y'all in my next video